everyone, welcome back to Bob TV. Hello. We're going on tour next year, as you know already. Um, and we thought we'd answer some questions to kind of show you what we're kind of like together and how fun we are. We're awesome. Um, yeah. It's yeah. a one big party. Yes, it's always fun on tour. Um, so the question today comes from Jackie. And she says, I wonder if you've ever uh, suffered a crisis of faith in regards to the business. I've been decorating for several years now and I'm finding it increasingly difficult to enjoy what I do. I think we've all been there. Yeah. I think, I think it, it goes through phases. Yeah. Um, I've got plenty of business and I'm happy with where my business is at financially, but it's starting to feel like every week is just another bunch of orders I've got to get through. I'm tired and maybe just a little bit bored. I'm considering taking some time off, but I'm worried that I'll lose all my clients. Have you been there or heard of solutions? I think the first thing to say is we've all been there. Yeah. We've definitely. definitely had moments where we have just plain burnt out or we feel like we're going to burn out. Yeah. And it's interesting, but I was going to actually, when I first read this, I was actually going to say to her, raise your prices. And the reason I was going to say that is because I find that people who burn out are the people who often are not getting much return for the work they're doing. They're putting in hours and hours and hours and hours of work, but they're not seeing the money back. Exactly. And I have to say, if your demand is that high, your prices need to go up. It's all about yeah. demand and supply. Yeah. Absolutely. And she yeah. would be, if she had said, I'm not making any money and I'm burning out which is a common thing I would have said to her you'd be better off doing less orders for more money so my my original advice would have been to earn money but interestingly she's saying I've got plenty of business and I'm happy with where my business is at financially so the advice I'm going to give her is not to raise prices but if you're watching this and you're feeling like you have so much work to do you're working so hard you're just not seeing the return raise your price that's step number one people are coming to your door that's great They'll probably keep coming if you've raised them. You probably will lose a few, but better to do more orders at less money. Sorry. Yeah. Less orders at more money, the way around. Less orders at more money than be doing, working like crazy and not getting much return. But in, in Jackie's case, she's talking about making enough money and doing okay. And I think when we go into business for ourselves, we don't really think about the fact that it is in some ways a job. The fact that you love it is still there, but that doesn't mean that you won't burn out. And just like- Or you, you won't get bored. Like or you case. won't get yeah. bored, yeah. I mean, cake is wonderful and it's an amazingly creative medium, but there is a point where you just go, oh. How many stripes do I have to do again? Oh my God, I gotta get <laughs> another polka another dot cake. cake. Yeah. Woo, polka dots. <laughs> awesome. Oh look, I have to level a cake. Again. And again. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I get, you know, <laughs> it is a creative process and every week is different, but there are parts of the week that are still very repetitive. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And no matter how creative you are or how different you are, there are always going to be cakes which are for birthdays and cakes which are for christenings or whatever. And the details might be the same, but the process is very much the same. So I completely understand her when she says, I'm tired and maybe I'm just a little bored. I mean, cake is cake and I've had enough. So the advice that I would give Jackie uh, and hi Jackie if you're out there, uh, is that it's time to actually take some time off, I think. Uh, I think it's time, I'm not going to say go off on some great amazing tropical holiday, I'm just going to say it's time to take some time off. And I, she's probably feeling like she can't take some time off and probably what I would say is look forward in your diary to the very next weekend that you've got with no orders or with an order that one of your staff can handle if you have staff or just a weekend where there's nothing and we all have those weekends nobody's booked out every single mm -hmm. weekend from here until eternity and even if it's like a holiday weekend coming up thanksgiving or whatever take that week off literally say to your clients i'm really sorry i'm totally booked out or say that you're on vacation whatever you need to do and take that time off and then when you get to that time off i want you to actually do a couple of things the first thing i want you to do is sit back and go remind yourself why am i in business what am i doing this for What's its purpose? What purpose in my life is being in this business actually feeling for me? What am I doing this for? And the second thing that I want you to do is actually reevaluate where your business is at. I find that the people who are often in that burnout stage or in that crisis of faith stage are that way because things have been going along kind of like this. They're just maintaining the status quo all the time. They've never shaken things up. They've never actually looked at, okay, I've been doing this from home for 10 years now or two years now or however long they've been doing it from where to from here? They haven't seen any growth or they haven't seen a dip. They haven't gone in either direction. Things either haven't there's gotten really bad. There's nothing to look forward to, I think. Yeah, there's nothing to look forward to or things haven't gone really bad, which is good, but they're just maintaining. They're just kind of at this very maintenance level, which is frankly a little bit boring if what you're used to is the excitement of the cake industry and new techniques coming and new exciting things happening. So when you take that time off and really a week is plenty and I promise you that your, your clients will not disappear if you take a week off. Yeah. I'd love to tell you take a you know six month holiday or whatever but that's not realistic. Just take that one week, 
You don't necessarily have to go away. It can be a staycation kind of thing. And think about one, the purpose of your business, why you're doing it, and try to get back in touch with your soul and what your soul is telling you about why you're doing it. And two, reevaluate where the business is at. Is it a case of you've been doing it at home for so long, you're just over it, you're sick of the ganache on your ceiling, you're tired of your kids running around your feet, whatever, and maybe it's time to think about getting out of home. Maybe it's a case of, you know, you've been doing kids' cakes for a really long time, but you've actually always been kind of interested in wedding cakes, and maybe you'd like to move into that. It's time to reevaluate and look at the situation. I will tell you that many, many, many businesses get to the stage of what I call either grow or stop. And they decide to either stop and maintain the status quo or quit altogether, or they decide to grow. And by grow, I mean change up the procedures, change up what they do, change up where they do it, etc. that sort of thing. But Jackie, it's absolutely time to take some time and step back from your business. And I don't think you have anything to worry about in terms of, I think she was asking, how do I um, lose, like, I'm worried I'm going to lose all my clients. And I think that's really not an issue. I mean, you take a bit of time off, they're all not going to disappear overnight. Yeah, you know, they, I mean, you might lose the clients for that week that you can't take orders or that two weeks that you can't take orders, but they're not all going to run away just uh, because you're not available that one time. Absolutely. So, yeah. And financially, frankly, there's going to be a big difference. Meaning insofar as if you take a week off and you're panicking about the money you're not going to earn that week, let me tell you that in a month's time when you haven't taken the time off and you're burnt out and you're laying on the floor with the <laughs> flu and feel like you're yeah. going to die or yeah. something, you're going to lose a heck of a lot more money. So personally, I'd rather take a week out, lose a couple of orders, not make as much money that week. Okay, we're all eating mm -hmm. bread and water that week or whatever yeah. it is. Uh, but you need to take that time out to go back and ask yourself the questions. And I think also now. you need to ask yourself the question, what, what could I incorporate in this job now that will actually make me excited again or that will bring my mojo kind of back? You know, at, at the same time as finding the trouble spots, I think you also need to find out like Michelle was saying, like what's next or what, what can actually motivate me and then drive yourself towards that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I think also it's really important to get back in touch with your craft. Mm -hmm. Take a class. Yeah. In whatever. It not doesn't necessarily even have to cake. Be cake. Yeah. And not Painting, crafty. Drawing. A real class. Like yeah. when you touch stuff. Okay. When <laughs> you touch real things. Yes, yeah. that's right. Oh look, it's a human. Okay? <laughs> because I think that also kind of going back to our roots often helps a little bit too. We all got so many of us got into this this industry by accident. You know, yeah. we just kind of ended up there because we made a cake because it seemed like fun, we'll give it a try, whatever. Go back to your roots fit. And I think it's such a solo industry, you know, and when you go to yeah. an actual physical class, you start to meet like minded people and that kind of just you know, brings back that passion or that love that you actually had for, for what you're doing, you know? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. But please, please know we've all been there. We've yeah. all been there it's to various degrees. Yeah. yeah, extremely yeah. normal. Yeah. In fact, I'd be surprised if anybody didn't do it. But, you know, it happens in normal jobs too. You know, many is the time when, uh, you know, Bush and I had careers before we did cake. And many is the time I'd be like, oh, look, it's Monday. <laughs> I have to go back to work again. Yeah, another spreadsheet. Yay. You know. Oh, another spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. Joy. Yeah. So we all have those moments, but it's time to step back and reevaluate a bit, I think. So good luck, Jackie. Let us yeah. know if you need any more help. Yeah. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on tour. See ya.